EYP has been in business for over 30 years now. We started here in the Capital District. Uh, today we're about 300 architects and engineers and energy consultants with offices up and down the East Coast. I like to think of ourselves as people that do the really hard stuff. The buildings that we do and the clients we work for are very, very demanding of their facilities. They tend to be very high-tech, complex facilities or very, very historic buildings that require a lot of care and attention uh, to detail. That means that our people over the years have, have developed a lot of um, specialization and are, are able to assist our clients uh, who rely on their buildings for the the success of their business or the success of their mission. Most of those projects are uh, embassies. Most recently, EYP has worked on embassies in Oslo, Lusaka, Baghdad, Bujumbura, Panama, Rome, Prague, Shanghai, and Kabul. Although we don't usually think of ourselves as, as a firm that's doing international business because most of it's for the State Department. We did realize that over the last 20 years, we've been responsible for over $2 billion worth of construction in countries all over the world. And nearly three quarters of that $2 billion is all labor or materials that comes from that host country. So in a sense, you know, we're really doing business and stimulating business in those, in those countries in our own small way all over the world. I think there are several benefits to, to Tech Valley from companies that are doing businesses globally. Um, first of all, when we're out there in other countries, you know, we're always talking about what's going on back here at our home and um, you know, what's happening in Tech Valley is of great interest to people in other countries. Let's face it, this is a this isn't a regional phenomenon, this isn't a national phenomenon, this is an international phenomenon that's, that's taking place here. So it's always great for us as, as ambassadors for Tech Valley to be out there talking to people around the world. What, what this award really means to us is, is the recognition for our people and the sacrifices that they've made over the last 20 years to do this kind of work time away from their family, from their friends, from their co-workers, and all doing that to help forward the mission uh, of the United States government and its diplomatic policy around the world. And uh, I, I can't begin to thank all of our people enough for doing that and for the rest of the community to start to understand a little bit more about what they've all done. That's what it's all about for us.